loves welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Maya and thank you very much for clicking on today's video I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this swirl look because it's summer well it has been summer for a long time but outside is open and a bitch has got to slay so I'm here to slay bitch anyway a quick disclaimer if you see that well obviously you will see it that you can see some white you know kind of what, what do i even call it stains or you know anything in my hair mind your business can i get a rewind mind your business mind your damn business because <laughs> things happen and baby <laughs> it's too late to correct that let's just get straight into the video but do not forget to comment like and subscribe okay and let's get straight into the video bye. 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 For foundation, I'm going to be using my Sephora foundation in the shade um, Fonts Deep 57. I'm going to spread this all over my face and then I'll be using my beauty blender I got from NYX um, to blend out my 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 foundation. I really love this beauty blender because it's, it's very soft, especially right after you wash it and it's a bit damp. Oh my God, you are going to get, when you are blending with it, it's very it's very nice you don't you know feel like you are you're hitting yourself and um to highlight my face i'll be using the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer in the shade c13 and i'll be using the same product but in the shade c18 to contour my face now i realized that while blending i realized that because of the way i put the contour and the highlight shade the contour was seeping through to my highlights because of my beauty blender and so i definitely will not be doing that next time i know that i'll i'll first you know put my highlight shade blend it out and then i'll put my contour shade and then blend it out because it will make it much it will make my job much easier but if you're able to do the both of them at the same time then kudos to you but i really really love this concealers they are full coverage and very easy to blend you will see very soon how how blendable this product is and how it's able to sit sit on my face yeah look at that hi bitch And I'm going to be using my Makeup Obsession Transparent Powder to set my face. Um, and then I'll be using my Fenty Beauty in the shade Hazelnut to also set under my eyes. And I'll use the same um, powder to set the bridge of my nose and my chin. But right now, the reason why I'm going in with this um, powder is because I'm about to do my eyeshadow and I don't want... The fallout to you know ruin my my highlighted area so this powder is going to catch all the fallout for me and then I'll be using this palette which is the um, life on the dance floor and I'll be going in with the color I showed you you know on my crease line because we are going to do a, a very simple cut crease so I'll be going in till the desired effect I want which will be right about now then i'll be using the tropical carnival palette from makeup revolution and this was also a collaboration with tammy if you don't know tammy she's a beauty influencer on here and i love all her products that she comes out with when she's collaborating because she's a black girl and you are always assured of pigment when it comes to eyeshadow or any product and i'll be i'll be cutting my crease with the same concealer Guys, when you're cutting your crease, you really need to be careful because you see that on my other eye, well, I'm not going to show it, but if by the time I'll be done with the look, you'd see it that um, the, the other eye, when I was cutting the crease, you know, I didn't cut it as well as I'm going for this one. So you really need to be careful, you know, don't shake. 
and also right after you finish cutting your crease set it to avoid transfer to you know your upper lip your your the the upper part of your eye and i'll be using this palette i also got from um inglot and i went in with the pink shade on the outer corner of my lid space and then just right about on top of it and i'll be going into the same palette and i'll be using the gold shade to you know in the middle of my eyelid and blend the both of them out so that they, they look very seamless and it's not just oh different you can see different colors you know they blend together and i'll be using the same palette and this is also tam this is also from tammy in collaboration with makeup revolution i'll be using this face palette in the shade um, golden hour to to bronze my face contour my face and highlight my face and also i believe there's a blush in here which i use so for all my everything that will come after my face this is the product i use and i really really love it it's not that expensive as well this is i think 11 pounds and i'll be putting the the currency conversion on the screen as well a go girl let's go back to blending because blending is our friend and right now i'm going to use my inglot powder to um reverse contour my face you know snatch let's snatch those cheeks and now i'm going to wipe everything off i went ahead to to put my eyeliner and my um eyelash off camera because huh, that's another story for another day but this is me wiping everything off my face you know You want to make sure that you blend this stuff well so that you avoid harsh lines and i'm going to be contouring my nose guys there's this argument on the teal that um if you're a black girl and you contour your nose you know you want to look european you want to have the european face and obviously i'm going to be highlighting my face with the same oh no this is this is blush so i'm going to be using blush from the same palette guys my highlights and blush will be from the same palette and you can see how beautiful this looks like but anyway back to the argument if you you know you contour your nose you are trying to look european but personally i didn't even know this i just thought you know contouring of nose is a part of makeup so let me know like when you are contouring your nose are you contouring it to make it look slimmer i know that is the effect you get and it is nice but i never thought of like you know the european aspects and how it plays into the um european standard of beauty you know i still love my nose even before this i didn't even think if i hate my nose or how my, how my face looks honestly so i'd love to hear your thoughts on that and let's highlight baby and for my lips i'm going to be using the lip liner which is called glory and also the lip glow from makeup obsession which is also called entrance and then i'll be using an nyx clear lip glow to blend the both of them out which you will see me do in a second And we are almost done guys and to set my face i'll be using the makeup revolution sports fix and voila if you watched up to this end thank you very much i really appreciate you i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you were able to learn something and you will be able to wear this look this is doable and um, i know i didn't um post my eyebrow like I didn't film my eyebrow but i'll be posting an eyebrow routine in my next video like just a dedicated video for my eyebrows how you know i get them snatched so i'll see you in my next video do not forget to comment like and subscribe and share guys share okay and i'll see you in my next one peace